Lieutenant General Ma'aparankwe Mao's troubles began last year. In August, his home came under attack. The house and three cars were damaged and the family dog killed. He survived the assassination attempt, but it was just the beginning. Without a shadow of doubt, it was after a call from one lady in the media house. He said the lady was asking him to flee. And he asked her why. And he said, it's because we are receiving information from all sources to, if, to the effect that you are going to be assassinated very soon because the preparations are at a very advanced stage. On the 25th of June, Maho was shot and killed. His body dragged face down and then it was taken away in a vehicle. Government says the incident was part of an operation by Lesotho Defence Force members to root out rogue soldiers. But the family disagrees. Regional Bloc Sadek is investigating the incident. But Maho's widow is calling for international assistance while she's trying to come to terms with her husband's death. I have mi mixed feelings about this. I am angry, I'm hurt, but to some extent I do understand that this could not be avoided. So I just have to make peace with it. General Mahao's widow said numerous people had begged him to leave the country and warned him of a plot to assassinate him. But he refused to flee saying he had taken a vow as a soldier to protect Lesotho, the country which he had lived for and was prepared to die for. Renard Alkam, CCTV, Quilapata in Maseru, Lesotho.